So today we are starting the Ultimate Decades Challenge. I am so excited to finally be doing this challenge. I have been setting up my save file for a couple of weeks now and I cannot wait to get started. So I've been playing the regular Decades Challenge where you start in the 1890s over on Twitch for the last couple of months. We're currently in Gen 3 in the 1920s and it's been so much fun and so many of you guys have been telling me about the Ultimate Decades Challenge and I thought it would be so fun to start our Sims in the 1300s and have a whole medieval inspired world. So that is what we are going to be starting today. So I am using Morbid Gamers Ultimate Decades Challenge rules. This is a very involved challenge. And before we get too deep in it, just quick trigger warning. There is going to be a lot of death in this game. We do death rolls for just about every lifespan. So including babies, toddlers, and children, there may be miscarriages, things like that. So just know that there are some sensitive topics that are that may come up throughout the gameplay as we play through this. So I'm not going to go into like all of the rules, but would basically for time, what we'll be doing is every four sim days is a year. And so I've got a whole spreadsheet that Morbid Gamers has created that we'll be using to track um, lifespans and things like that. I do have aging off, so we'll have to manually track all of that. But we'll kind of go over some of the rules kind of like as we go through the gameplay. So I'm super ready to get started. Let's go ahead and dive in. So we'll be starting this Let's Play in Windenburg, and I do have an amazing custom world map. I will, I can't remember who created it. I'll be linking all of the different mods and CC creators and things like that that I've downloaded, either in the description or linking to my Tumblr, because I know you guys are gonna have tons of questions about that. But basically, I just started with a completely blank save file, and I've just been adding tons of really fun lots. I got lots of um, the medieval builds from The Sims resource, and then for our start, lot I built that off of um, it was inspired by one of the lots from the Sims resource but I kind of reconfigured it for the gameplay and so for this save we are going to be starting on this 64 by 64 lot because the rule said to start on one of the largest lots in the game to allow space for your sims to grow and so we'll go ahead and hop into the lot so I can introduce you to our sims which is which are the Rosenthorn family. So let's go ahead and hop in. So these are the Sims that we're gonna be starting with. We have Rosalind Rosenthorn and Kenrick Rosenthorn. And so they are already a married couple and I went ahead and set them as young adults just because, I don't know, I for some reason like cannot figure out the settings for teens to like allow like teen marriage. I just cannot figure that out. We tried to do it in the regular decades challenge <laughs> and for whatever reason, I don't know, I can't figure it out. So we're just gonna start as young adults. I did start them with starter funds. Um, and so let me give you guys a quick house tour. We do already have a visitor, apparently. This is Angela the Herbalist. She lives in a lot down the street. I don't have too many Sims in the save file yet. But yeah, we've got a little farm. We're gonna need to get some chickens and a cow so we can start earning some income. Of course, we've got our laundry. And then most of this custom content that you're already seeing, like the walls and stuff and the terrain paints came from the Sims resource. But right now their place is pretty empty. Empty. You come in, they've got a little stove area. That barrel right there functions as a sink. We have a fireplace over here. I think it's currently like day seven of spring. Um, they do have a bed and a little dresser, a little bit of clutter. Um, we do have a special cookbook over there. We'll get into that like throughout the gameplay, um, but it has a lot of custom meals that's fits the time period. This is their little, I don't know, I guess you wouldn't really call it an outhouse, but their little bathroom. Um, so they do have a tub, a, a toilet, with a little chamber pot, and then another little sink over here. Um, and then over around the backside of the stove, we do have, this technically is like a refrigerator. I think we have, it doesn't, it's not gonna like keep the food, um, preserved as much as like a regular refrigerator but it I think we have to have it for to be able to cook like certain things and stuff and we do have a counter so we'll be expanding into uh oh that's a laundry hamper basket so that's what we've got so far to start um we have let's see 
1200 simoleons i think the rule said to zero out their funds but right now i have not cheated any money so i want to at least use the money that we have left to go ahead and actually before we even get started i want to go ahead and purchase the cow and i do have some custom i'll definitely link these for you guys because i didn't even realize you could have this but i added some like custom animals to the game and it's so cool so we're gonna do a jersey cow when i was play testing um this one's so beautiful so we're gonna add one of those and then i think to start i might just do a rooster and two hens just so we can start getting some eggs because we'll need we do have a simple living lot trade on so what that means is we have to have all of the ingredients to cook and then we do have off the grid so we're gonna have to gather water and things like that so let's do brown rooster and a white hen and we'll just get like an assortment we could do a black hen and then if we have a rooster and hen then we'll get hatchable eggs and we can grow some more chicks yeah that leaves us 300 simoleons i don't think i'm gonna zero it out just because um i don't know we might we might need that i don't want to struggle we've got we're doing pretty good if we just start with this we've got the bare necessities uh so yeah let's go ahead and get these guys in motion one of the mods i want to show you guys that we'll start with actually i guess we have the welcome wagon so maybe we should just come introduce ourselves to our one neighbor <laughs> we probably are going to be spending most of this let's play on the lot and not traveling too much i did put down a couple of like taverns and things like that so maybe we'll do a little bit of traveling but for the most part this is where we're going to be so it might be nice to have some friends let's see did roslyn introduce herself to her I guess we both know her okay and i do have a mod where i don't know if it's the royalty mod or which mod i have but they're able to like pickpocket but we're not going to do that we're not going to pickpocket our neighbor um and i'll probably end this early because i honestly cannot stand apologize what have we already what have we already done because we need to start like gathering things super nice to meet you angela uh yeah we just uh moved in but we really need to go foraging, so maybe we'll stop by later. <laughs> Let's just end that. Um, and then what I really wanna show you guys is this item here. You can click on it and it gives us the option to like go hunting, go foraging. They can go like to the village, like depending on what time of day it is, they have like different options, but it's really cool. So I'm actually gonna send Roslyn out foraging and then she'll come back with ingredients and I'm gonna send Kenrick out to go hunting and so they'll just go like a rabbit hole they'll just disappear and so I'll be back as soon as these guys come back from foraging and hunting all right so these guys are back so let's see what they got so Roslyn came back with three cherries, three onions, and four acorns. And then some of that we'll be able to use as ingredients in cooking, and some of it we may save to plant in our garden. And Kenrick came back with two chicken and a squirrel. So that's pretty cool. It's like a fun sort of semi-realistic way to get ingredients in the game without having to like go into build by it's currently spring so yeah we can do carrots mushrooms and strawberries so we can either forage or i'm using the royalty mod and a trader will actually come over i think it's like monday wednesday and friday in the game so i want to try to do stuff as realistic as possible but i realized we didn't like take care of any of the animals when we bought them so we'll go ahead and give them some feed i'll have Rosalind come over and build a relationship with the cow so we can hopefully milk her and then I need to give them names so if I love letting you guys name the animals so if you guys have any suggestions if any of you are my twitch fam definitely drop some name suggestions in the comments for our chickens and our cow any fun medieval inspired stuff um, I do want to hop in I don't think we have enough simoleons right now but I do have some custom skill building stuff and so instead of the woodworking table i actually have a blacksmithing 
station, essentially. Okay, it's 875 simoleons for the blacksmithing station. So we're definitely going to need to work up for that. Um, if that ends up being a skill we want to build. And we need to get the garden going. So maybe what I can do is send... Oh, no, we didn't even get any milk from that. That's what I was worried about. Okay, now who's here? Oh, the trader is actually here now. So let me have Kenrick come over. Maybe we can sell some of that meat okay so trade let's see if we sell any items okay so he said fair morning to you all it appears we have not yet met i am trader is it like jock jock i don't know how to say that i offer a fair price in exchange for fair goods i come around every sunday okay he comes every sunday wednesday and friday so it's sunday wednesday and friday and then you click on him more options trade sell items Um, oh, look, I also have a phone override that makes it look like a little book. So that's fun. Like, they still have the animation, like, they're on the phone. Oh, we can't... Oh, these don't make very much... We don't get very much for these. So honestly, I think I'm just going to keep them because we probably need them more for food. But if he starts making stuff on the blacksmithing station... And then... Let's see. Okay. I'm going to have her come use the bathroom so you guys can see that. The chamber pot basically works exactly like a toilet, but it's just, like, more realistic. They do still, like, flush it and stuff. So it basically works just like a, I don't know, a regular toilet in the game, but it's really cool. They're not hungry yet, but I do, I don't think we can milk the cow again because that didn't, okay, wait, we can. Let's try that again. I maybe should have did, like, a social interaction. But if we could get some milk, then she can start making some ingredients. Then I'll show you guys the cookbook that we have. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, that's some of the royals. I basically made a royal family kind of inspired by the Starks in King of Thrones. But I named them the Dresd Dresden House, which was just like the name of one of the areas in Windenburg. And so I'm not sure what happens when royals come wandering through but I want to see them look at them I need to turn the fame shine off or I don't even know if I can but look at them <laughs> I made them in charge of the land I just like love the Starks so much I don't know are they coming over or are they just having a, a stroll okay did we get the milk that time we did okay so we've got the milk um, so because she has some ingredients now, let me see what we could do. So this is called the Yay Old Cookbook, and then homemade produce, homemade ingredients. Okay, we can make some butter with the milk, so I'll have her come do that. And then I need to keep an eye on when we can collect eggs, because we can actually boil eggs, and they can eat those for a while, or we can make soup. Kenrick's out here. Can we send the trader home? We've got... We've got work to do, bud. I might just send him out. Let's see. Uh, might send him out foraging. I'll send him foraging. So you just try to get as many possible ingredients as we can. There's probably no eggs to collect. Actually, there are already eggs to collect. That's awesome. So let's see. She's taking forever on this butter. Let's go, Roslyn. Okay. So yeah, she made, so you can use that for cooking. And then I also need to have them gather water so we could use the tub and stuff. So let's see how many eggs we get. Two. Okay, yeah, two eggs. And we just have to, like, because stuff is going to spoil so much faster than the regular game, I would rather have them make ingredients out of them um can we make pantry foods okay so we can do oh just a single serving of boiled eggs okay we'll wait till we have more eggs so we'll just hold on to those i'll put everything in the refrigerator i don't think let me see let's it would expire in 23 hours but if i put it in okay weird so when i do put it in here it says that it's gonna last 15 days but i didn't put ice let me check build mode. I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure we're off the grid. Yeah, we are off the grid. We have simple living and we're peasant home. 
Okay, so I guess that does kind of function as a refrigerator. I don't know, that feels a little bit like cheating, but I don't want the inventory, her inventory to get too full. So I don't know, we'll put them in there for now. If that feels like cheating, you guys just let me know in the comments and if there's like a different way that I should handle that. But I am off the grid. So let me have her, I need to find where the fishing spot is. Oh, also real quick, I forgot, I totally forgot to mention. I am playing in, it's called Medieval Windenburg. So what it does is it overrides all of the stuff that looks modern. So like the roads look like wooden roads. And when we're in the downtown area, like the background houses and stuff look different. And so the fishing signs are, okay, yeah, we should be over here. So like the fishing, it doesn't have little posts. It's like this little thing. So I'll have her come gather some water. Maybe I'll have her go fishing real quick while we're over here. But I just love the way this whole like medieval Windenburg file looks like. And then I do have a couple of other like grass texture overrides and things like that but it just has really created like an entire vibe for like the whole like medieval time period it's so cool and so i'll definitely do like some sort of post for you guys to link everything and like where i found it in case you want to download it and add it to your own game wait what time is it oh 7 p.m i was like it is getting really dark okay let's level up that skill real quick and then we've got to go figure out dinner because she's getting hungry are you going to try to talk to the queen is that what is about to happen because i don't think she's going to let you Okay, he also came back with onions, blueberries, a bird egg, and then he had the chicken and the squirrel. So nothing that we can plant in the garden yet because I don't want to go into build by because we need carrots, mushrooms, and strawberries. But I'd like to try to forge them or at least buy them from the village shop. But we need to come cook. Ugh, they could eat gruel. They may, have, they may just have to have gruel for their first meal. And then after that, hopefully we can make like some better stuff. Get ready to have some delicious gruel. And then I also need to have them woohoo. Uh, one of the things I haven't talked about yet is the pregnancy rules. So I have it set at like risky woohoo at 25% based on them being young adults. That's what the rules say to do. There's like a higher chance for teens and then that percentage continues to go down throughout their lifespan. Yeah, so we'll have them do that before bed because we need to definitely try to get b the babies along the way. And there's a lot of death rolls, so you have to like roll for the mother to see if they survived birth. You roll for the baby to see if they survived and a lot of things like that. So it's going to get really eventful really quickly. Hopefully everyone survives. I'm going to be so sad. Like I love Rosalyn already so much. And then I don't think I'm not going to do pregnancy tests. I don't know. I can't decide. Wait, why is she sad? never enough from eating gruel it may have filled the belly but it always leaves sims wanting more oh okay they're trying to go to sleep but i really want them to woohoo first to try to have this baby but technically obviously they were not pregnancy tests in medieval times but the way that it works in the game is if you don't do the pregnancy test it takes like a whole 24 sim hour it like basically makes the whole pregnancy an entire sim day longer than normal that's what we figured out during the regular decades legacy and that's like super annoying so i don't know i haven't i kind of want to just do it okay so i'll see you guys when these guys wake up tomorrow okay she has a baby bottle over her head so that's a good sign because she wants to take a bath but we're not gonna do a bubble bath that seems a little unrealistic you can have a regular bath and then we'll probably have to gather more water um kenrick why don't you come tend to the farm so come collect the eggs feed the chickens how is our cow doing clean the cow see if we can milk her it's like such a vibe out here and then they definitely need food did he collect the eggs because okay we have two more eggs i'm not sure how many we need to be able to boil more of a serving i'm just gonna put all the food related stuff in this in their pantry thing or i guess refrigerator technically but i don't want to call it that okay rosalyn you're really taking a long time in this bath you are done and come make some onion soup so then that should fill them up hopefully basically they don't have leftovers because there's no way of like preserving the food so this will probably spoil before 
the next meal. Okay, so I'm gonna pause these guys real quick and have a think and I'll be back once I've decided what I'm gonna do with them for money. Okay, so what I decided to do was we didn't have very much money, so it was 35 simoleons, and I went ahead and got Rosalyn a um, knitting ball thing, and so she can knit clothing, and that I think I will probably let her just sell from inventory and make a little bit of simoleons that way because otherwise I don't think there's anything we're gonna really be able to do to make money. Kendrick, I feel like I would like to get the garden going, but okay, now we can actually, so I'm gonna have him go to the village shop first and then maybe the herbalist shop because they have different ingredients. Okay, so what can we buy? Um, let's get a couple things of flowers so we can make bread because otherwise I don't think there's any way to make flour. And I know salt, those are only two simoleons, so I'm actually going to get like 10 of those because it's kind of a luxury, but we're going to do it. And then I think he's got to go to the herbalist shop, and that's where he can maybe get some fruits and vegetables and things that we might can use for the garden. So I'm going to send him there. Okay, good. She's already knitting autonomously. Um, oh, they don't have what we need. Okay. Oh, so we can only sell that for 23 simoleons. That's fine. I'm going to sell the knit. I'm, I'm okay with selling knitting because honestly, I actually think something's wrong with the marketplace tables in my game. For some reason, they weren't working. I like created a whole little marketplace in downtown Windenburg, but I don't think it's functioning right now. And then I also don't know... We don't have any moodlets yet that she's pregnant and honestly her bladder and hunger are not going down that much so she may not be pregnant so we should probably have them woohoo again because the percentage is only 25 percent so i definitely want to get baby number one on the way as quickly as possible i think i'm probably just going to go into build mode i'll send her foraging it's getting kind of late, so it seems like not realistic, but that's okay. Maybe she'll come back with something we can use for the garden. She came back with apples. Okay, she did come back with mushrooms, though. So let's go ahead and get those planted because that's in season. Okay, and then once we harvest, we can plant even more. But now she needs to get dinner underway, and I wonder if there's, like, more stuff. I do have Bust the Dust on, and I do have a broom override, but because I don't have an actual floor, they can't sweep. Like, I just have terrain paint. So they have to just, like, step on these little, like, dust bunny things, and I'm just imagining it's, like, a bug or something. But we'll just pretend this was, like, a spider or something that she had to, like, squash. Okay. Go ahead and can we make anything new? Okay, we can't make anything under food. We can make seed porridge. Let's do that so they at least they don't have to eat gruel. Right now, I really wanna have the kid, but I'm actually scared to have the kid though because if she is pregnant, we're gonna have to do our first death rolls. But I would like to at least get this first episode to uh, finding out whether we're pregnant or not. So these guys are just gonna have some dinner real quick. And then unfortunately, we're not going to be able to keep these leftovers, so I'll bring them inside, but I think they're going to spoil before the next time they get hungry. And I'm just going to, they're not that tired, but I'm just going to send them to bed because it is late. And I'll see you guys when they wake up tomorrow. Oh my gosh, look! Okay, we're up for the day and I spot a baby bum! Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Okay. Do we have a moodlet? Yes. Okay, we never got the pop-up, but we have a child on the way. Rosalind wants children and is happy to know what is on the way. Second trimester in 17 hours. Amazing. Okay, and she's having morning sickness. So we'll go ahead. I'll let her throw up because I think that will help alleviate the morning sickness. Can, can I, don't complain about the dirty bathroom. Your wife is pregnant. He can come take care of the farm, collect eggs, feed the chickens, and milk the cow. Maybe we can sell the milk this time because I don't think we really 
need anymore right now. So I might break my rule. Um, because the trader is not going to be back until one more sim day. So I may sell some stuff from inventory. He can also go harvest the mushrooms. So have him plant that. And then mushrooms also grow in fall. Oh, actually it says mushrooms grow year round. So maybe we'll just plant a few rows of this because I want to make sure I leave space for all the seasons because I don't want to uproot any of the plants. I want to keep evolving all of them. So we have plenty of gardening space. Fall will be when we plant the most. So I'll have him do that and then he'll water. And then let's see, what can we get Rosalind doing? Maybe knitting um, or maybe she needs to cook. This hasn't gone bad yet, so I'm just going to have her eat a serving of this while we can. Oh my god, three minutes until spoiled. I don't think you can eat it fast enough. No, it went bad. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. That's not good. Dang it, we were so close. Okay, clean that up. Okay, so she's well fed now. What'd you come back with, Kenrick? Let's see. Yes, we got strawberries! Jackpot! Because those are very expensive and those are in season. Excellent job, Kenrick. Wait, no, 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 no! I always do that! I accidentally say eat! No, 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 no! Please, can, can I reset him? Hold on. Reset. Okay, oh, I do that all the time. I'm so bad. I accidentally click eat. I meant plant. Plant that. Don't eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna sell the milk. I have to break my rules. It's too hard to not sell from inventory. We're just going to keep foraging. So I'm going to send them both foraging and see if we can't eventually get some carrots because I like it's so rewarding to not have to buy it and get stuff through actual gameplay. So I'll be back as soon as these guys finish foraging and we'll see what they got. Okay, Rosalind's already back. That was like super fast. What'd you get, Rosalind? She got, okay, garlic is really good. We can't do anything with it now. But that's good for cooking. Can she go again? I don't know if there's like any limit to like how many times we can send them. Okay, Kenrick is back. He got apples, acorns. So with the acorns, I think we can, or he got seeds. So we can at least make seed soup. So let me just put all this stuff in the cupboard for now. And then maybe there's stuff we can sell in there. I need to double check. And then can I send him again? Go foraging again. Rosalind should be back. She's gone a lot longer this time. Okay, she's back. She got some more strawberries. No, that's raspberries. Okay, raspberries aren't until fall. Apple, and then what she had all ready. Okay, what are you guys' needs? You're gonna need to eat, but go one more time. Okay, you too, Kenrick. Oh, Kenrick, oh, buddy, you're gonna... Why'd you get... Oh, no! Kenrick got sprayed by a skunk. Do we have water? Okay, we do have water. Oh no, but what did he get? We got a lot of blueberries. We did get some carrots though, so we finally got carrots. I'll do carrots on this row. And then once we, okay, good. So now we've got everything for the garden. Oh, that's so rewarding. I really didn't want to buy them in build mode, okay. I'll have to check our supplies because now there's like so much stuff in this cupboard. So I'm gonna get these guys just like wrapped up and ready for bed. We're gonna have a quick dinner and then I will come back when they wake up tomorrow because I wanna try to get through this episode to her having the first baby and our doing our first death rolls, which I'm really nervous about. But I wanna do a little bit of a time jump so we will get her closer to the end of the third trimester and then we'll be back and I'll update you guys where we're at on simoleons and uh, where we're at on the baby progress. Okay, so basically I skipped through like most of us like an entire sim day and so they just worked on some skill building and some money making things. We still have not paid the bills, but we did make enough to get a bassinet. So we've got that ready because we are now, we just reached the end of the third trimester. Um, or I guess the start of the third trimester, and so it'll probably be more towards the end of this sim day where she will give birth. 
Um, currently, right now, they are surviving off of these boiled eggs, which don't fill their hunger a whole lot, but um, they don't go bad. So rather than us like wasting a bunch of food, that's what I have them eating for right now. So they're just surviving off of those. It does fill their hunger pretty good. It just doesn't get it like all the way up. And so that's what they're doing with that. We did plant some more strawberries and we got our carrots. So this is our first carrot harvest. I have not been following the rules of like only one harvest because um, that's just like really difficult. And right now we're so low on money that we really need to be able to plant more. But because carrots are in multiple seasons, I think I'm gonna do three full blocks of those. And then I think we'll just sell the rest for right now. Oh no, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna have him come milk the cow because I've just been selling all the milk because I always thought you can only milk them once a day, but it turns out you actually can milk them multiple times and you get like 100 something simoleons for the six things of milk. We'll sell the fertilizer. And then I think we'll sell all of these strawberries, 270 simoleons. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna, just sell those. We'll just do the two plots of strawberries. Okay, good, we got the milk, we'll sell that. So, okay, we're up to 800 simoleons. That's the most we've gotten so far. So I was able, I think the only thing, I added an outdoor trash can and I added the baby bassinet. So that's the only new things that I bought off cam. And then I tried to do the trade feature to sell things like with the trader, but for some reason the trader glitched out the last time he came, so we weren't able to do that. Okay, Kendrick, are you just gonna get, yeah, go ahead and get yourself some eggs for breakfast. And Rosalind will work on this. Actually, I don't even know that we're gonna need to water because it's raining, but let's just see what happens. Um, okay, that's weird. I feel like we shouldn't have had to water the plants, but it's fine. But I'm just gonna go ahead and send him foraging because I don't have anything else for him to do. And I wanna pay the bills and have enough money to get the blacksmithing station, I think, because I feel like I really wanna try out that skill and see if that's gonna be like a lucrative way of making money because I don't really know how it works, but I think it would just be fun for this play style. Actually, I'm gonna keep, the, I don't think we have any carrots in our cupboard. And then we could also look into canning. I don't, it says something stinky, but I don't know, it's not giving me the option. The other thing is I can still do, uh, we don't, actually we can't because, go ahead and let's pay the bills. So it's 357 simoleons. So that way our off the grid stuff will function again. Let's see, canning, okay, we can make, we can make mayonnaise. I don't know if they like made mayonnaise during this time period. Oh no, I just realized the toilet is broken too. So when Kenrick comes in, he can fix that. Oh no, this is broken now too. Everything's falling apart. And then we might need to go ahead and do some laundry before the baby gets here. So while we wait for Kenrick, hopefully he gets here in time to fix the toilet. If not, she's gonna have to just do it herself. And then this should be clean. Yeah, clean, we'll just move that to the... So this has like an override, so during the animation the laundry looks the same, but then it changes to where it looks more time period appropriate. Okay, I don't want a bladder failure, so you come over here and be ready to go. Okay, we didn't have a bladder failure, yay! Okay, so they've had dinner and I'm now just sending them to bed for the night and we should go into like, like we should get the notification and pop up that she's gone into labor like any second now. So we're just counting down and then we're gonna do our first death rolls. Oh no. Okay. We've gone into labor. So let me get the death roll stuff set up. First we'll go ahead. Actually, we'll let her have the baby. We'll see if it's a boy or a girl and then we'll do the rolls together. I'm so nervous. Okay, first let's wake up. Let's go ahead and wake Kenrick up so he can be a part of this. I imagine like in real life she would, I don't know, maybe she would have like probably some sort of midwife over like if she knew someone, but I don't know if peasants, I don't know, they might've just done it at home alone. I'm not sure, I haven't really done any research on that, but 
Okay, wake him up. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay, have baby. Oh, I really hope they both survive. It's a boy! Okay, so if he survives, this will be our first heir. And for his name, okay, hold on. I have a list of names, so let me check my list real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Jasper Rosenthorn. Okay, so it was just one baby. Okay, and now we have to do, now we have to do the death rolls. So this is how the death rolls work. Basically, we'll roll to see if the, I think, I'm like really confused how this works. So I think from what I read, I roll for the mother to see if they survive birth. It's only if they roll a one. Yeah, I think that's how it works. So yeah, we roll to see if the baby survived birth and if they roll a one. I think, I guess, is it the same for the mother? I'm not really sure. That's the part I'm really confused on. So if you guys have played Ultimate Decades Challenge and you know what the rules are, then let me know in the comments. But I'm basically just going to do it for this first time for uh, both of them. And only if it is a one, then they didn't survive. But I feel like something about that is not correct. Um, so let me switch to the dice. We'll roll and we'll see what we get. Okay, so first we're going to roll for the baby, and then we will roll for the mom. So here we go. Okay, so baby survives, and mother survives. I think I did it right, but I'm really not sure. Okay, so they both survived. Yay! All right, so I think that's where we're going to end the first one here. I had so much fun playing. Hopefully in the next episode, we will grind and make a lot more simoleons. We will get pregnant with baby number two, and we'll see where we can take it from here. So this has been a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me for this first episode. And if you like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.